Can you tell us a little bit sure. about uh, your depository and how a depository in general works? Sure, sure. Oh, and let me just mention one other thing about when to sell. So, mm -hmm. you know, I would say I, you know, I wouldn't be selling right now because there's so many reasons, unless you need the money for some specific reason, this is the perfect storm for precious metals. People should be buying right now, and they are, frankly, at unbelievable, you know, higher rates than before. Um, you know, if you have an outbreak in, in peace and stock market, you know, lack of volatility and, and, and you don't have a Federal Reserve that's printing trillions of, literally creating trillions of dollars every year in new money supply, uh, and you have fiscal responsibility in Congress and those things, those would be the signs it's probably time to sell your precious metals or at least some of them. But right now we don't have any of those signs. That said, you know, if you need the money, of course, you, you, you know, it's, it's, it's yours and it's liquid. Um, so on the depository, we are a class three vault. So that's the highest uh, rating under uh, underwriters laboratory. It's a UL class three vault. Um, and we are fully integrated with the rest of our company. So, and that's a big advantage compared to our competitors who deal with third parties, uh, some of which are, you know, been in vaulting for a long time, but it's uh, surprisingly difficult sometimes to work with some of these companies. Um, and, and part of it is because you're dealing with lots of parties and they are talking to each other. And, and that's one of the reasons why in your case, we work so well with you because we have good communication and we all, we're all sort of onboarded with each other. So it, it's very smooth. In the case of some, some of these third party depositories, you, you know, you're calling the depository, you're calling the dealer, you're coordinating between the two. You don't have to deal with that with us. It's a separate company and it's, it's separately held physically from our uh, inventory, but it's all integrated. So it's seamless and you don't have to worry about it. But basically we do segregated storage, which is the, the gold standard, if you will, in, in storage. Segregated means your, your metals are not commingled with anyone else's metals. It's literally its own physical container. It's a sealed mm -hmm. container. It's all done under camera. Um, everything is documented. There's dual controls and everything that's handled. No metal moves even across the room in our building, in our depository, or even outside in other parts of our fulfillment operation without two people signing off on anything that happens. Um, we do independent audits externally. We have internal audits. Um, you can even, in, you know, you can even have a showing of your metals remotely uh, via, you know, via uh, Skype. We've done that for folks. Um, but the, I think the, the, the strong advantage we have is aside from our controls and our, our storage fees, which are probably the lowest, um, is the, the ease of working with us, um, particularly if you're using us as a dealer uh, to buy or sell. Um, because everything just happens and it's it's really smooth. Right, I love that it's all there. It's like a copy. You know, shipping involved because uh, right. they can buy it from you and store it right there. So right, and we have thousands and thousands of storage customers. We we uh, we built that depository uh, in 2017. Um, and it's already, there's already an issue coming in a couple years in terms of space uh, that we're looking at um, and, and how to build much larger vaults than we have. Uh, but it's, uh, it's definitely, you know, 95% of folks that we deal with do want physical possession unless it's an IRA where they can't. Um, so most people don't store, you know, they buy precious metals because they want to have it in their hands. They want to know it's real. They want to, you know, they want to have some in their possession in case the worst happens and we think everybody should have at least some in their possession. But um, for those that want to use storage, which again is a small, smaller percentage, um, I think we have the best offer out there. I love the safety of the depository. I do have some silver coins um, that I keep locked up very safely. But yeah. uh, I think if I had a uh, higher quantity, uh, I would want the added security of doing it right. in or even if I wasn't doing it inside of my IRA. Exactly, and that, and I think everybody should probably have a few, you know, have some precious metals in 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 you know in their house or nearby. But when you get into larger amounts, that's that's a real risk. Um, your insurance, homeowners insurance, doesn't necessarily cover it. If it does, you you'd have to probably pay a right you know, extra fee. You want to you you need to be careful because there's other risks. You have a large amount there. Keep your mouth shut. 
know, don't show it to the visitors, don't tell the neighbors. I mean, it's 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 a serious issue. It, I mean, people have there have been home invasions, or you know, it, it's it's still very rare. But you know, in an air in a, in an economy like we seem to be heading into, there, we're seeing higher incidents of fraud in our industry. I'm sure there's higher home thefts. So you know, just don't have a huge amount there. And if you're in and and you might want to have some firearms along with it. <laughs> um, Absolutely. So, yeah, so, actually, one other benefit, uh, uh, kind of a kind of a neat little assist. One of our secrets, really, is is um, we are uh, in the same building as the county sheriff and city police. We actually uh, we share. We have about half the building. They have the other half. The sheriff is actually our tenant, um, and so it's kind of this neat opportunity. You know, we have police cars all over the place and, and that kind of thing. And not that we rely on them for security because we have our own security, but uh, but it's a nice uh, psychological added benefit of, of, of Money Metals Depository. That is a great example. Your depository can be surrounded by um, sheriffs and police cars. That's fantastic. Yeah. Unless you don't trust the police, but we do. We, we like them and they do a great job. There you go. So let's talk about how people can get a hold of you. Um, obviously you have the website. Um, you also have uh, an email where people can uh, send questions or inquiries, and it's inquiry at moneymetals.com. I like that. And then, of course, you have an 800 number that people can call. Um, it's, it's interesting times that we live in, and I've noticed that uh, that's usually when it's a really good idea to start looking at precious metals. Hang on to those for a while because they're, they're just a really good hedge against um, – the uncertainty and everything that's kind of going on right now. And if you look at them over time, they have always, always gone up, even with a little bit, a dip here and there with a little bit of volatility. But uh, for the most part, if you look back and look now, it just keeps going up, kind of like real estate. Real estate does the same thing. It'll occasionally have its dips and valleys, but uh, if you straighten out that line, that line is still a hill going up. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's really, I mean, and it, it it appears to be going up, but a lot of the reason real estate and precious metals are going up is because the Federal Reserve note is going down, and that's why tangible assets are such an important aspect of, of your asset mix and your asset protection. Um, it's you know, especially in this environment where they can literally, there's no restraint whatsoever on the creation of of currency, and they are bailing everything out, and that's basically our financial system. In that environment, you want to own things that are real and precious metals, real estate, you know, in, in many cases, um, not ivory, of course, um, but there are ups and downs, you know, and again, silver, we talked about silver, it's more of a wild ride. So if you're, if you're, you know, more of the more uh, squeamish about, you know, volatility, maybe favor gold more than silver, uh, long term, silver probably will do a lot more in terms of appreciation, but, um, you know, both are great. And then if you get beyond that, go to platinum and palladium, but just a little bit of that. 